how come there are music producers living like this? But there's also producers with hit songs that are living like this. In this video, I'm gonna compare two hit songs and show you how much the producer made on each of these and how one of these producers made over five times more than what the other producer made. To get there and to make sure that you are on the money making side, you need to understand how a song actually makes money. Stay with me here, this is super important. For the sake of simplicity, we'll focus on the two main ways. First, we have the master recording, aka the master, which is the original recording of the song and it's the source from which all copies are made. The artist or label usually get 95 to 99% of the master and producers usually get one to 5%. Luckily for producers, they have publishing, where they really get their money, sometimes. Publishing is the ideas that make up the master recording, like the chords, the lyrics, the melodies, the sounds, etc. Publishing is usually divided 50-50. The artist and or label get 50%, and the producers and writers of the song get the other 50. To get to the producer cut, we need to find out how much Sicko Mode and Tusi Slide made in total. Sicko Mode is one of the most popular hip hop songs of all time. It has roughly 2.5 billion streams across all major streaming platforms and about another 1.25 billion views on YouTube. How does that translate into dollars? For every million plays the song gets, streaming services pay out about $3,000 to the master and about $600 in publishing. On the master side, Sicko Mode has generated an estimated $7.5 million from streaming services and $3 million from YouTube views. On the publishing side, it has generated about $1.5 million from streams for a grand total of $12 million in estimated earnings. Now let's use that same math to find out the total earnings of 2C Slide. 2C Slide was a viral TikTok smash. It has racked up about $1.5 billion streams and about 350 million YouTube views. Through streams, Tootsie Slide has generated about $4.2 million and from YouTube views, it's generated about $800,000 for an estimated total of $5 million for the owners of the master and an additional $820,000 on the publishing side, combining for a total of about $5.8 million in total revenue. So how much did the producers make on these tracks? Can't we just use the math we learned earlier? Eh, sort of. There's more factors at play, which we'll get into later. Since OZ worked on both of these, let's use him as an example to estimate how much he made on each one. On 2C Slide, let's assume OZ owns 5% of the master. Typically, the more clout you have, the higher percentage you're able to get. That 5% comes out to about $250,000 on the master. And let's assume he got 50% on the publishing, which comes out to about $410,000. That adds up to $660,000 in total for OZ on 2C Slide. Not bad. Now let's do the same math on Sicko Mode. 5% of the master revenue comes out to $525,000 and 50% of the publishing comes out to $750,000. So the total producer cut adds up to an estimated $1,275,000. So how is it possible that OZ made over five times more on one of these songs? Well, if you go to the Spotify credits on Sicko Mode, you can see that there's actually five producers and 30 credited writers. due to sampling and the beat switches, which I would imagine Travis Scott pieced together multiple beats with multiple producers on each beat to do that. Because five producers were credited, we have to take that assumed 5% of the master and divide it by five to get it to 1%. And since publishing is split between writers and producers, we have to divide that 50% of the publishing by 30, which comes out to only 1.6% of the publishing for OZ. This shrinks OZ's master earnings from $525,000 to $105,000 on Sicko Mode, and his total publishing earnings from $750,000 all the way to $25,000. If we compare that with the writers and producers on 2C Slide, we just have OZ and Aubrey Graham, aka Drake. So I'm gonna compare the producer earnings side by side, but before we get there, since I haven't produced a hit like 2C Slide, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that I can make more videos for you guys. On 2C Slide, OZ got the entire producer cut of $660,000 compared to $130,000 on Sicko Mode. So the answer to how much does a music producer actually make off a hit song is it depends. Every situation is different and there's other factors that we can't always see like record deals, publishing deals, manager splits, etc. If you're a producer and you want to calculate how much you could potentially earn from a song you produced, this is a free tool I created that can help you calculate the minimum you would make if a song you produced hit certain numbers. This can also help you know your worth as a producer when signing deals. All you do is put in the number of Spotify plays a song has, how much you own of the master and publishing, and it'll give you a conservative estimate on how much you could earn. If you want to know how to make a living off music without a hit, song, check out my how to make a living as a music producer starting from scratch video that I did. Thanks for watching. Peace.